What's happening, gang? Welcome back to another episode of Agile DIY. I'm your host, the Agile DIY guy. Today, we're working on a oil change for a 2010 Ford Explorer Eddie Bauer. Let's get to it. I'm gonna need some sort of rag. I'm gonna use these Scott paper towels. Uh, for safety, we've got some eye protection some rubber nitrile gloves. We've got a funnel for filling up our oil once we've drained it. A flashlight just so you and I can both see under there. A ratchet socket in order to take off the drain plug. We have an oil filter wrench. We have chocks. We're gonna chalk the back tires so that it doesn't roll off ramps. Now, ramps are optional. You can use um, a jack if you want to, a jack. So everything you need to know is in your owner's manual. And if we flip back to the maintenance and specs, we can see that we have our air filter type, the fuel filter, the battery type, the oil filter, which is the uh, FL820S, which is right here, FL820S. So we got the right oil filter. A couple pages back, we see engine oil for our 4.0 uh, engine. The capacity is five quarts. I'm using the Valvoline 5W30 high mileage oil. And one other thing we need is an oil drain pan. And I picked up this one that'll collect the oil. We can easily use this spout to pour it into a, the old container and take it to our auto parts store for recycling. see the couple lights that are on in this vehicle low tire pressure and oil change needed so it's always a good idea when you change your oil to go ahead and make sure that you've got you know topped off on fluid your tire pressure is good uh, your air filter is good so we'll check those things too um, what you'll also want to do is now that I have got it up on ramps you want to make sure that your emergency brake is set also. And as you can see, now that red light's on indicating that the emergency brake is on. We'll chalk the back tires too, make sure it doesn't come off the ramps, but uh, we should be good to go. All right, we got this side. Give it a little push. Make sure it's not gonna fall off those stands. I got a piece of cardboard here, just in case uh, there's any spillage. So, as you can see, there's our oil filter and this black pan here is our oil reservoir and you can see the drain plugs right there, so. All right guys, under the truck now we got a 5 8 socket on our 3 8 wrench and we want to make sure we're going lefty loosey righty tighty just need to crack this open that was on there pretty tight plug all cleaned up
this to you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this up here. There it is, right there. So all I'm gonna do is wipe it down and then uh, screw the new one on. I'm just gonna hand tighten it. That's all I'm gonna do. It should be good, good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and prep our oil filter. same size as our old one. Notice that it has a gasket on here. Um, it's very important that when you take off your old gasket, uh, I'm sorry, the old uh, oil filter, that gasket doesn't stick um, up to where the oil filter fits on your vehicle. Let's get our oil. Uh, we just need to lubricate this a little bit so it makes it easier to um, twist on as well as seal. I'm just going to get a little bit of this. Uh, you could use the old oil, I suppose, if you wanted to also. I'm just going to use the new stuff. Don't need a lot, just a little bit right around there. Now, additionally, since the oil filter goes up like this in my vehicle, um, I'm going to pre-fill it uh, just so it's not dry when the vehicle starts. You don't need a ton. It'll go down as it soaks into that filter. Um, and that's really all you need, just to sort of prime it. All right, just want to get it tightened up here. Just hand tightened is good. Can't tighten it anymore with my hand, so we should be all set. Let's go ahead and get cleaned up and we will get the new oil in the engine. So there's our oil fill over there. Uh, yellow thing down there is our dipstick. So we'll check it with that. We know it takes at least five quarts so we're going to do that, pull it off the ramps, and then go ahead and check it. And if we need to adjust it, we will put more in. and uh, ran it for a few minutes. Let's check the oil level. It's actually right at the top of the cross hatch. It's hard to see. But it's actually good. Oil has changed, oil is good. Don't forget to put your cap back on your oil. Window washer fluid. I'm gonna go ahead and top that off. It's pretty good, it's pretty full. You know, it's window washer fluid because it's got this picture on it. It's like a windshield with water squirting on it. All right, in addition, Let's go ahead and check the air filter. A couple latches down here. Pull off, flip up. I just changed the oil filter a couple months ago. Should be okay. Very clean, very clean. Car doesn't get driven a ton. This is your power steering fluid that looks good you can see the line here it's just under the max so we should be okay on that um, brake fluid is here
and that looks full up to the top. We'll do 35 on this. The oil change uh, message. You're gonna click info, hold, reset. And after driving a bit, you can see that the uh, low tire pressure warning light has gone away and we are all green, good to go. change done car is good good to go maintenance is done um, so I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any comments uh, questions anything that uh, you saw me do that I could do better uh, we're all here to help each other out so leave a comment like this video and subscribe to my channel so we'll see you at the next video catch you on the flippity I'm AGD. Nope, I'm not AGD. I'm ADG. Back again. Show you something else that we're going to do today. <laughs>